On February 7th of 2014, day just like any other day, it was a Friday, got up and got my grandson ready for school. And the only thing that was of any significance that morning is he wanted me to rock him. And so we sat down in the chair and rocked, and as I was rocking him in the very center of my chest, it felt like his head had bounced against my chest. My husband had been at an early morning meeting, never comes home between meetings, but that particular morning I heard him come in and call out to me and he came up the stairs and said, you know, are you okay? And I says, I'm not feeling very good. And I got up and as I got up, the pain got worse. And so I kind of decided, he says, well, I'll, I'll take you to the ER. He says, you want to go to the ER? He says, yep, let's go. And as I was walking down the stairs, the pain got just really, really bad. And I kind of sunk down on the steps onto the floor and I heard him calling 911. I ran downstairs and she's lying on the floor at the base of the steps and she's clammy, she's hot. And we got into the ambulance and away we went and they hooked me up to a 10K EKG. Um, he knew already then that I was having a heart attack. As I was coming in, I said to him, I said, John, where are we? We're not in the emergency room. And he goes, oh no, you're not, you don't get the emergency room. He says, we're going, they're waiting for you in the cath lab. Within a matter of minutes, I had two stints placed in my chest. When I got there, I, uh, I met with a doctor uh, and he said, I, yeah, we put two stints into her. I'm going, this was, less than a half an hour, less than 15 minutes since she left the house. Supposedly I was this, this, you know, perfect, gonna be this perfect patient, but they didn't have any room in the step down area. So they put me, they put me into ICU. And uh, as I'm standing there next to her, um, all of a sudden, all the whistles and bells go off and the blue lights are flashing and the nurses come rushing in. I don't remember anything after that. I'm walking down to the, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm walking down to the visitor's room where my daughter is. And he says, she just went into cardiac arrest. In less than 1% of all people that have stints placed, the stints clog up and I happened to be that one percent. The doctor had come in uh, later and told us that this was the, the vein that got plugged was called the Widowmaker. As soon as I was stabilized enough, they took me back down into the cath lab and basically we laughed because we call it, they vacuumed it out. They told me I was a model patient because I wanted to get up as soon as I could get up and walk around because I knew I wanted to go home. For whatever reason, God had decided that I needed to stay. And so here I am. It was kind of like going into the unknown, not knowing exactly what you're supposed to do. I went into severe depression. It was, it was, it was pretty tough. And I had had a doctor's appointment that day and I walked into the doctor's appointment and she immediately recognized it. I started to cry and I says, I don't know why I'm still here. She said, you need to stay right here. And she walked out of the room and she came back in with somebody for me to talk to. And, you know. You know, I didn't know how to react. I don't know, she, she was trying to react to how I was reacting. And uh, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't going well. We were just being negative towards each other. And, and uh, you know, uh, we went and uh, saw a counselor, saw it, talk to him and the guy was amazing. I think it came out much stronger now than it was even before she had a heart attack. Depression is a huge part of it and people don't understand that. It impacts your life as much as the heart attack does. You start to question everything and you start to wonder when you're going to feel normal again. I used to sit down and, and set my pills up for two weeks and it used to bother me. And I knew that in my own mind, I had to make a change because this is part of 
how I'm gonna live. And, and so I did. Having a heart attack has not defined my life, but it has now defined how I live. The Go Red is, is huge. It's a symbol. You can go online and the support is phenomenal. You know, when my mom originally had her bypass years and years ago, there was not such a thing as a stint. That's what Go Red does, and that's what the American Heart Association does. If there's one thing that makes me sad, I've lost the, that security of what's that pain. You really need to check these things out. Don't sit there and allow um, yourself to sit back and say, no, it's just a small chest pain, or, you know, my left arm is just a little sore or whatever. You need to have it checked out. I was 57 years old and it wasn't gonna happen to me. You know, and, but I found out, yeah, it can happen to you. And it can happen in the blink of an eye.